Three giraffes died at the Dallas Zoo in less than a month. Experts are looking into whether two of the deaths are connected Jesse, a 14-year-old male giraffe died October 29th, two days after he first showed signs of an illness, according to the Dallas Zoo. Results from a blood test showed Jesse had abnormal liver enzymes, the zoo said. Zoo officials said they are investigating whether Jesse's death is possibly linked to the death of Augie, a 19-year-old giraffe who died October 22. Augie died after dealing with age-related health issues that led to liver failure, the zoo previously said. On October 3, the zoo also euthanized a three-month-old giraffe calf after she was injured. We are doing extensive lab testing on blood and tissue samples from Jesse and Augie to identify commonalities and further pinpoint what may have happened. The necropsy results from both giraffes pointed to liver damage, which is leading us to focus on the possibility that they were exposed to a toxin of some sort, either through a food source, in the exhibit space, or introduced via a foreign object, the zoo said. We also are testing for zoonotic diseases, including encephalomyocarditis. With the help of outside experts from across the country, we and will continue working through lab test results on blood, tissue, food, plants, and other items, in an effort to identify the cause, while also working to eliminate possibilities the statement continued. The Dallas Zoo put preventative measures in place prior to Jesse's death, including limiting the giraffe's movements in their habitat, replacing food items and conducting regular blood draws to monitor liver enzyme levels, it said in the statement. The zoo also said the three-month-old giraffe calf, Marikani, was euthanized after she suffered injuries while running with a few adult giraffes in their habitat. Marikani's leg hyperextended when one of her front legs planted in the ground at the top of the incline and one of the adult giraffes was then unable to stop fast enough colliding with Marikani from behind fracturing her radius and ulna, the zoo said in a previous statement posted to Facebook. The Dallas Zoo provides the most naturalistic environments possible for our animals, which has so many benefits for both their physical and mental well-being. Unfortunately, those natural surroundings have inherent risks, just as they do in the wild, where giraffes have a 50% mortality rate in their first year of life, the zoo said in the statement. The Dallas Zoo said it plans to add substrate material in areas that showed some erosion and will install cameras to monitor animal interactions and behavior. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.